Whatever. Today I'm going to share with you my February tag for the Tim Holtz Monthly Tag Challenge. And I think I'm doing pretty good. There's two days left in February and I am completed my tag. And for a procrastinator like me, I think that's pretty good. So I think what Tim Holtz was trying to focus on this month was using the distress markers, which I do have. I picked them up at the beginning of February as a little late Christmas gift to myself. The only thing is about three or four of my colors when I got them, they seem to be dried out. And I've heard other people said the same thing. So I'm just gonna have to um, contact my supplier and I'm sure he will send me some new ones because he's really good that way. So here is my tag and let's take a closer look at it. <clears throat> And mine, if you're following Tim's tags, then you can tell that mine is a lot different. And one of the reasons is he had a big stamp on here, and I didn't have the same stamp as him, and I wanted it more Valentine's, you know, more because um, of February Valentine's, and there's birthdays and everything else. What I first did was I colored the tag, and I know Tim Holtz, he used um, his Distress Stains, which I only have one color, and it's a dark brown. So what I did was I used my Distress Ink. I'm pretty sure it was Barn Door. And I colored the whole tag up. Then I ran it through um, my cuddle bug with this heart embossing folder. And then I took Aged Mahogany, which is one of my favorite red colors in that collection. I just love that color. And I straight from the ink pad, I just rubbed it on top and it picked up all the raised areas of the embossing folder. And then I kind of flicked a little bit of water on there because I really like that effect from last month. And like I said, I'm pretty sure he was focusing on the distress markers and I really was excited to use them. So I use this stamp here and it's just from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. And I stamped it a couple times on water paper. And then I just, uh, with the one color, I colored the wings and then dragged the color around. And then also with the heart, and I'm pretty sure that's barn door. And I dragged the red from the heart. So you can see it's watercolored. And then I cut them out and I pop them up. And then this heart here, this is a grunge board piece. And again, I used my favorite color, the aged mahogany, and I inked that up really well. And then I attached it with um, that little tiny attacher because I had just got that. So this is the first time I used it. So I thought that was fun. And then down here, he had um, uh, his paper, I forget what it's called, where it's kind of like co coronations or cordations, or I forget the name of it, where is it has different color layer underneath but I didn't have that so I ran this through my cuddle bug with an embossing folder and then I used the picket fence and um, I went over top of that so you can read the with love so that's what it looks like with the picket fence marker and I thought that was pretty neat and then I just used a ticket and then one of his fragments and just on another piece of water paper I put some tea dye distress ink on there and then stamped it with those and then um, attach that there. So I really like how that turned out. And then at the top, I just stamped some hearts. He had the, the paper again that he had at the bottom here with the emboss and then you sand it off and he attached up there, but I didn't have that. So I like the, the contrast with the reds on here. And then another neat thing which he did was he took his tissue tape and he folded it on itself and used it as the ribbon and I thought that was neat and actually you can't really tell too much but I did distress this with um I think it was the aged mahogany and uh, aged mahogany as well as you can tell I like that color and then again I added a little charm and this was a gold color but um I colored it up with the alcohol inks and I can't remember what color I used but and then around the whole edge I distressed the whole edge and then I used the black soot on the edges too so I'm really happy with how that one turned out I'm really I'm really liking that one so I will show you once again how it looks like displayed with my January tag so again, this is how I am displaying my tags, and I'm really happy that I can come here and I can see them right out in the open. So thanks again, everybody, for watching, and I hope you all had a very creative day today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.
Slow, and I don't believe in fate.